Hi guys. So early analysis today, right? The market just closed. It's uh, 335 and um, I decided why not, you know, just continue with the analysis since the market closed, right? So what we had analyzed yesterday was this, right? If you haven't watched yesterday's video, please go and watch it. You know, I only keep insisting that every day because, you know, that's very, very important for your learning. Um, in terms of what we analyzed, why we analyzed it, right? It's not just the view that I provide on everyday analysis, but also why am I looking at it, right? So, um, you know, this was the thumbnail that I had shared yesterday in YouTube, right? Saying wave three is over. And then we are unfolding wave four up till 23.008, right? And what did the market do today, right? So let me remove all the indicators. This is where we had the wave three uh marked so let me mark it once again right so this is one of the possibilities that we looked at and wave three was exactly at 161.8 percent if you recall right so this is wave one uh this is wave one and then this is wave two right and you we had exactly 161.8 percent there right and we also said wave four uh, can be complex it can be a possible triangle and or a complex wave right so and, and precisely, you know, <clears throat> what exactly happened uh, today, right? So if I look at uh, wave uh, four here, this is clearly an ABC. You know, first wave is over. Uh, this I was looking more like an impulsive wave during the day, but now I'm convinced that this is another ABC. And then, you know, we are unfolding the third ABC here, right? Um, so we'll see how the market opens tomorrow. You know, the possibility of a flat opening to complete uh, this wave C is high uh, and hence you know this entire a you know triangle possibility of this being an a b c d and e is high if this is a triangle right the other possibility is that uh, you know this could be an a b c uh, and you know uh, making it a, a, a correction and then you know uh, unfolding wave five right so keeping both the possibilities open pretty simple and straightforward right can be a triangle and or a complex correction and uh, clearly wave four is on right when will uh, we conclude that wave four is over we will only conclude when 23412 uh, is taken out right uh, wave fives are slow they're lethargic they eat premiums and wave four uh, for sure we know it's not an option buyers uh, territory unless and until you're a pro scalper the premiums are uh, super duper high <clears throat> right and this is not a market where you would want to hold your uh, positions on wix is melting look at you know how wix is uh, fallen uh, which indicates a couple of things right one the premium decay is happening super fast and two uh, you know the there is some stability uh, you know around the corner you know with the election news settling down uh, things are slowly uh, becoming stable right so be extremely i will be extremely cautious in terms of you know how uh, this market is evolving and the opportunities that i will be looking at to trade right so that's from an elliott wave perspective if we look at uh, the price action of today see no surprises right it's more a weak doji uh, the high from yesterday uh, was not taken out uh, but you know it did cross the low so we're basically doing lower high and lower low right does it mean that the trend has changed uh, not as yet because you know if you look at the close today it is closed above yesterday's uh, close right so this is more a consolidation rather than um, you know anything else and I think, you know, the, the writers are getting ready uh, to expire uh, this weekly expiry in a sideways market, you know, and eating all the premiums without any much uh, trouble, right? Only if this wave four uh, is over and then wave five gets over, uh, you know, with time, we may see some sharp selling in the, in the expiry, right? So something that I would be looking at. And, uh, you know, it's been a, a week since I last mentioned, right? is a time uh, to move uh, to look at option selling and something that i'm contemplating because you know with high premiums um, unless and until a trend emerges uh, you know selling is something which i will be personally contemplating um, and you know uh, look for opportunities there right 
great so uh, day time frame uh, you know price action is not weak early we saw some good momentum right the first early candle was good uh, we saw uh, you know this weak rise here we also traded um, you know more of a scalping then in the last hour you know we saw some selling here uh, the good thing is it is still not taken the low of today's opening right it did open gap up and we saw that selling and uh, we waited here by the way right uh, knowing that you know there will be a buying opportunity that will emerge and i think we were able to capitalize this to some extent you know given we were fighting against the time on the buying side of it right so on the bank nifty is when you know uh, things were uh, you know looking better because we had this breakout that we looked at and this was an opportunity to trade right a quick scalp so bank nifty uh, <clears throat> is not any different than to nifty right uh, price action is pretty simple uh, similar you know lower high lower lows but it is closed above the previous candles low so no difference to bank nifty either um, let's look at the options data now and see how things are evolving there let me log in into sensible for nifty uh, clearly we saw uh, you know higher put writing which kind of gradually uh, marginally slowly uh, took the markets high and you know this is something that we were closely monitoring 23 300 seems to be uh, you know where we had some writing so overall change in oi on nifty is uh, mildly bullish but if we look at the change overall open oi we still have you know higher number of calls uh, written than to puts right with 23 200 as a support and 23 300 as a resistance followed by 400 and 500 right so it will be very interesting uh, on how things evolve but none of these writers are looking aggressive on either sides right they're more uh, conservative uh, in in their approach uh, with you know 23200 uh, where we have 50 lakh puts and uh, 23300 where we have uh, 42 lakh calls right so uh, given the the positions as of now you know it looks more like you know a sideways expiry also you know correlating this with elliott wave on nifty right let's look at bank nifty it's since it's tomorrow is it's is it's expiry uh, massive support at 49500 which is very clear right so anything that comes near 49500 uh, will be an opportunity in fact today also it came close to that where we saw that buying uh, coming from so any dip uh, as of now <clears throat> on both nifty and bank nifty we're still buy on dips right i keep saying there's uh, no uh, sign of weakness as yet right and i see a lot of uh, folks in the social media screaming that i'm carrying puts you know there will be a bloodbath and whatnot you know it's still very premature uh, to make any uh, such conclusions right because if you look at nifty it's absolutely flat it's more a doji day and you know bank nifty 75 points you know this is nothing um for bank nifty right and tomorrow we've got this expiry and uh so bank nifty clearly we know is going to close above 49500 uh, 49700 there is uh, some call build up 800 900 so you know similar uh, situation right not a lot of writing uh, even steven 76 to 65 uh, in change in oi the overall open oi we know 49500 is a resistance and 50000 Sorry, 49,500 is a support and 50,000 is the resistance. So 49,750 is the area where, you know, uh, it's looking at uh, for closing unless, you know, either or uh, can step down. Uh, calls um, 2.1 crores to 1.73 crores. So mildly bearish, uh, you know, but more neutral uh, rather than anything else, right? So another boring day of uh, consolidation, right? Uh, two days and um, simple strategy i'm going to mark the high and low from a price action um, you know for today and for yesterday and see you know if it breaks uh, out or breaks down on either side uh, but given you know the the two days of doji uh, and the data correlating and also wave four on elliott wave it's clearly suggesting a boring uh, expiry and a boring uh, next two days right so i'll stay light I'll uh, see if I can, you know, clearly pick a strike price that has uh, least uh, time value, preferably next week, 
and uh, keep light look for uh, scalping opportunity and um, you know not look for big moves right if i get uh, 20 30 points on nifty and 50 60 points on bank nifty i'll just book it and stay happy right and or i will look at you know selling options depending on how the market opens tomorrow right looking at dow jones um, absolutely no sign of weakness to yesterday was a good day in fact nasdaq is you know inching higher highs uh, spx no doubt there us markets are super uh, bullish <clears throat> there is fed um, event tomorrow uh, so we'll see how things evolve right now the other interesting fact is here is where nifty closed 22 uh, 23,290. This was 23,529. The close came down today, 23,264. Right. So this is the highest close, and this is the highest uh, high that Nifty touched. So you know it is purely consolidation. And I think you know the big guys are waiting for uh, time and confirmation uh, for uh, you know them to drive a trend. Right. A trend is going to emerge. Um, anytime soon uh, because this consolidation clearly uh, you know is uh, telling us that and like they say the longer the consolidation the stronger the trend right so and and we exactly anticipated this right we if you recall yesterday's analysis we said you know it would be nice to have a doji um, and we've had that for two days now consecutively so yeah you know that's the the plan um, and uh, you know that's that's how i'm going to approach this market do share in the comments section what is your plan are you bullish are you bearish what is your trading strategy and um, you know do hit the like button comment and uh, share it with your friends and family cheers guys have a great rest of the day bye now